Katie you and boy do I have an exciting video for you today. I don't know if y'all have heard of this uh this this boy band. Their name's One Direction. Sorry if that doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, I, I didn't expect you to know it, but uh the existence of One Direction, the fan fictions, the imagines, the overall just cultishness of the whole thing that dominated the internet in the 2010s, everything about it was what shaped me to become the educated, informed, and empowered woman that I am today. And so, in honor of 1D releasing a ton of PR for their 10th anniversary, as you might have seen, I figured I would take y'all on a blast to the past with me as we relive and recreate the iconic YN, insert your name here, girlfriend fan fiction outfits. All right, let's go. So last night, I searched far and wide to find these outdated, extinct 1D outfits blogs. I've just chosen and compiled the images that I found the funniest, and I'm just going to be trying to match whatever the frick I have in here to that imagine. And so the first one is Amusement Park with Niall. They misspelled park with an E. Let me know if that's British spelling. I don't think it is. I think I had one of those spirit shirts that was like that. Talented, brilliant, incredible. Then denim overalls. Okay, I don't have overalls, but... but it will have to do. We have this gorgeous stunning pouch. I do have Kate Spade backpack that is black. I still use this. Wow, I feel like I'm a stylist. Because I am. I'm YN stylist. We have a fedora. Why would you wear a fedora to an amusement park? It's just gonna fly off. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping. Jewelry, I don't think I have any of that stuff. Let me go look at my jewelry box. Oh! I actually have some tacky stuff. Okay, hold on. Completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or- That's good enough. I got the college key for the jewelry dog. I'm Niall. I'm Harry. I'm Zane. I'm Liam. And I'm Jennifer. <laughs> Finding Narnia with Niall. The caption is what gets me. Your knees would be pretty cold in those jeans. Is she wrong though? I'm so ready for this one. I have all the ingredients. I have this windbreaker coat. It's the perfect shade of green. Perfect for blending in with those Narnian pines. White sweater, easy, easy, easy. Black skinny jeans. I actually don't own skinny jeans because I have a grudge against jeans. It makes me look blocky, I don't know. So I'm gonna go with these business pants. A scarf. Oh. Can anybody explain to me why scarves were so big in the 2010s? Like what? I don't really understand. But here, I have one. A relic of the times. That's what makes it beautiful of the time. What is she doing? Nanya. I like girls who eat carrots. Getting STD tested with Zane. Iconic. All right, first, we have a blouse. Lucky for you, me, who has gone to many, many internships, has a blouse on the ready. We have a polka dotted skirt. Here's my dilemma with polka dots. I have either this really, really, really long dress that is polka dotted, but it's not mint and it's not a skirt, or I have a skirt that is short, but it's not polka dot. And I don't know what to do. Comment which one I should choose. Leather bag. I had a leather bag that looked exactly like this, but I threw it out because I left the 2010s behind me. She regrets it. The closest thing that I have is... It's like white though. It's not really the same. Really dope face. Hola, niño! We're gonna go with it. Get out of my kitchen! Skateboarding with Louis, eh? Fun fact, I do have a skateboard that I asked for Christmas and then I wrote it once, fell really hard, and never did it again. It all led up to this moment because now I have a skateboard for this outfit. Cheesy tank, cheesy tank, cheesy tank. Woo, I have three candidates for this. Okay. I don't have time to care. Treat yourself. Here for a good time, not a long time. It's really hard. I don't know which one I want to pair to go skateboarding with Louis. We'll find out. And then we have denim jeans. Never the same, totally unique. Anyway, sunglasses, oh, I have the perfect. <laughs> the gold accents and stuff, oh, immaculate. Absolutely amazing, love. My dad has one of those ski beanies. I'll be right back. Okay, not exactly on brand, but it does have words on it. Killing ton. Killing ton? A little violent. The laughs we have. Between me and We you. have some laughs. Pranks. Laughs. Oh. Next is Big 1D Sleepover with Zane. 
For the shirt, we need a comfy, tacky lounge shirt. And I think I, I, I even got it down to the color scheme, yo. Call me stylist of the freaking decade. I stole the bottoms from my mom. It's pinstriped, just like the original. I think this outfit is gonna be so freaking accurate. I'm so excited. Amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. Yes. Excuse me, Liam. Day with Liam, just day. Period. Why is this the most 2011 post on the entire internet? I so freaking agree. All right, and floral. Oh! This is obviously not high-low like 2010s demanded it to be, but I think I can finesse it and like tuck it into that, so. It's like not the thing we're going for, but it's still a heart and it's still kind of cringy. Like I would never wear this. I don't know why I own it. She's a savage. Yeah. While we're doing all this styling, I should talk about, you know, my journey with One Direction. I was truly well versed on all of the fan fictions. I remember reading Dark, but the only scene I remember is the fact that there was some weird scene about his nose brushed up against her lady part. And in that moment, I remember being so traumatized because I was like, I did not know that a nose was supposed to be that close to a lady part. It's the family show. <laughs> or is it? Um, and that's how I learned about Watermelon Sugar High. Okay, where were we? The next one is TV interview with Niall. This is like my favorite dress in my entire wardrobe. I think the red accents kind of emulate like the red belt in the photo. All right, this is good enough. I think this is this is appropriate for the bag. Tacky earrings, tacky bow earrings. I was a cheerleader and so I have a lot of bows to choose from. Would you guys really hate on me if I literally tied two silver bows to my ears because I think it's a vibe. Full freaking send. She's mine! <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, because this is actually one of my favorite scenarios, teaching Harry how to whip a nay nay. I'm kidding, because if you don't know how to whip a nay nay before you meet me, immediate disqualification, okay? Do your homework. They even put an iPhone in there. Because Android users, get the f out. I'm kidding, I love you. Found a white hat to shade from the sun as you whip a nay nay in the sunset together. Some Lulus, the only pair of Lulus I own. If you're still paying $80 for these, stop, stop it. Get some help. Go on Amazon, look up CRZ Yoga, and your life will be changed forever. And then a gray sweater. Wharton, Pennsylvania. Woo! I don't even go there. You don't even go near it. Holy crap, I think I'm done. Now it's time for the fashion show. It's time for me to actually become YN. the outfit. Without the hat in the bag, I look like NFL player's wife slash chef with the hat. Then immediately I'm slightly farm girl. Then you throw in the backpack and it gives me like a goth Dora vibe. Now time to rate my own rendition. Um, um, I mean we all know the score. A 1 out of 10. All the different aesthetics from goth Dora to farmer to NFL cheerleader no. But I'm happy about discovering this dress. I actually really like the silhouette of this dress, so catch me wearing it in a future video. If it weren't for the ripped holes in the jeans, original outfit, I would give that outfit like 9 out of 10 because it's something that a lot of people wear in the winter, so I think it's very, very realistic. For Narnia though, I would say you need a way thicker coat, but I got rid of the functional problem because I don't have holes in my jeans. Therefore, my outfit is 0.5 higher, 9.5. I would wear this. <laughs> Digging these George Washington sleeves. And how ironic is that that I'm talking about George Washington as I am pretending to be the girlfriend of a British band. I rate the original outfit as a 6.5 out of 10. I feel like I'd wear this to like a chill or a workplace where they don't like, you know, dress code us on the length of our skirt. In terms of my alpha rendition, I think it is really spot on, really accurate. 
down to the sunnies and the coke. Hang loose, bro. So I would give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I got multiple things wrong. First of all, this is a skirt. Nobody wears a skirt to bed. Polka dots with pinstriped bottoms. No. One out of ten. Oh. Yep. I think this outfit is gonna be so freaking accurate. I'm so excited. I think this is a little more formal than just day with Liam. I tried to make it high low by tucking it into my pants. Anyway, it's not just day with Liam. You gotta be more uh, specific. It would have been a 6 out of 10, but for lack of contextual evidence, I deducted 2 points oh. to give it a 4 out of 10. Okay, next! Alright, I'm trying to prep for the TV interview. They even included a hairstyle. <laughs> Not bad at all. Bitch, you thought. I met her the other day in the valley. She said, cool, so how long you been in Cali? Two weeks, but I feel like it's home now. Okay, I just watched back the footage and literally my hair was a laughing stock. It, it still so is. We're gonna try again, and if the button still falls out. Cut the cameras, dead ass. I'm not gonna do it again. Let's just worry about the outfits. <laughs> I think I'm a little biased because this is. My favorite dress. If I definitely was on a TV interview with Niall Horan, I would wear something like this. I give my outfit mm, a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, I do. Actually, to that, I'll deduct one point, yeah. Yeah, running buzz down. Uh, I just touched <laughs> 10 out of 10. This is totally something I would wear, so I can't even roast it. And uh, Harry, hit me up for lessons, because you need it. That is all I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. It was honestly such a nostalgic blast to the past to film this video. It's honestly crazy how relevant and dear to our hearts 1D has managed to stay to all of us throughout all these years. And I'm not complaining about it one bit. If you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see y'all next time. With breaking news, another war zone has broken out in the results of Katie doing another freaking lookbook. I don't know why she keeps doing this.